Can you hear me? Yes. What it look like in the video? Oh. I'm trying to get my retractable up. Too low. What else should we do? Can you hear me good? Yeah, I can hear you. I just can't see you yet. <laughs> what? I wonder what happened. Hold on. At the bottom, does it say anything like video, start video, or anything like that? Hold on one second. We are finally, right? You ready? I am. Good morning. Don't have any earrings. Good morning. Thank you so much for doing this. Infinity is shorter. <laughs> oh, okay, that's cute. Okay, Karma Mia, um, rapper, Atlanta. Any any other titles or anything that I'm missing? Uh, we can say Karma Mia, rapper, um, comedian. Everybody want me to do comedy? Okay, so that's something we can throw in there. Comedy. We can talk yeah. about that. Excuse me. Okay. Mind your business. 
<laughs> this your friend now. This your friend. You know, I understand. Damn, listen. Hold on, let me put my phone on do sir. I'll get it. I mean, I guess people drink in the morning on Sundays. Um, mimosas? <laughs> I know, I was looking for orange juice, but I don't have any. You don't need any. I don't. <laughs> this don't help me go to sleep. Girl, I had a long night. You had a long night? Yeah. Which was an orange after hours spot, had to go to a friend's birthday, hated it. Had to show up for an appearance, hated it. Had to go to the after hour for the birthday party, hated it. I'm like so COVID no nervous. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to talk about that too because I'm like, Lord, oh. don't nobody call me unless I got something to do. Exactly. It and I've been like trying that. to like get my email downloaded on my other phone, but. That's been crap. Okay. All right. So if that does happen, if we do uh, just like kind of stop talking for a second and let it pop back in, because I'm going to edit everything so it's no, it's not live or nothing like that. So right. just like stop and then we'll just kind of pick up where you left off or restart or right. depending on how we stop, just in case that happens. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, hit record, do an intro, and then we'll get started. Okie dokes. Kitty. Okay, let me see if I can change this. Nope. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. So I started recording. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, three, two, one. Hi guys, welcome back to this week's episode of What's Your Story? And on this week, I'm so glad and proud to say I have my first Atlanta artist. She is a rapper, a comedian, because she's mad funny. And she's coming from Atlanta, so we're in the same city. Yeah. Give it up for Karma May. Woo, that's me. <laughs> All right, so I just want to say thank you so much. I'm sorry, I'm going to this jacket going on. Okay. I just want to say thank you so much for doing this. I deep, deeply appreciate it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And what is your story from the top? So basically, just a little intro. I'm Carmen Mia, K-A-R-M-E-L-M-E-Y, the number eight. Um, I'm a rapper, and I'm from Atlanta. Um, I really got my start with my first show that went viral on World Star. I don't know if y'all remember. Um, last year, little slap contest, that was me. And I came out with a retaliation song because it went viral, 6.9 million, my dad. And the song is called Pop Off. It's on all platforms. You can find it any and everywhere. Like, share, subscribe on my YouTube. Get the song Pop Off by me. So basically, that's just my story chopped up in one little five little second. Who do? Okay. And so, um, talk to me a little bit about this world star. So, did you, what, what was it first of all? It was just like a kind of remix or something? Well, the song originated because I performed, I had my first paid show, um, what is it, 2021 now? So, 2019, I had my first show in Atlanta. I was currently living in Charleston, South Carolina from moving from Atlanta. Came down for my first paid show and... Right after I got off stage, they were having like this contest, uh, slap contest. Um, you see it everywhere. YouTube, World Star, Instagram, everywhere. If, you, if you've if seen slap contests, you know about them and know that they hop around from city to city in, yeah. in Georgia. And I just happened to have my first show at this club, Rio, in Marietta. And I came down, did my performance, and they were talking about... Um, who want to do a contest we giving away money nobody went yeah. in so i was like if i go, i was asking my cousin if i go in there don't nobody come i'm getting the money right on top of the money i already get for my show he was like yeah right. and it was like no lie as soon as i stepped in the ring this like real inebriated girl came in and i was like what the fuck like why would you all these announcements you want to wait till i get up there like i just got off stage just rocked the crowd now you want to come in like, that was just, I was like, whatever. Okay. Yeah. So, so she saw that somebody volunteered and she was like, all right, I guess I'll step in too. 
It was me. I was I went in the ring, and then next thing you know, here come my drunk ass right behind me. I was like, where was this volunteer uh, like right. 10 seconds ago when nobody was getting in? Oh, what was happening? Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so let's rewind. So let's say the slap contest, world star, pop off, popped off. Right. And then that's kind of how you really got the ball rolling with music, you would say? Basically, that was my first show that I had during my whole music career, which was I started in 2019, so I haven't been doing it that long. So that was just like the beginning of me now. Okay, okay. 2019 is when you got your start. Yep. And then it popped off. It literally popped off. That's great, because I know a lot of people still in the industry are like, you might have that one song that's hot at a showcase or whatever, but then you still just keep going. But with you, 6.9 million views on World Star. Right. You can't pass that up. <laughs> right, you can't. But the thing that was crazy about it, as soon as I released the song and it was getting all the traction, that's how I got like my little uh, flow of followers coming in and everybody was just yeah. starting to realize who I was. That yeah. very next morning, from when I released the song at 12 that, that early night morning, Nipsey Hussle died. So it was just like, Dang. yeah, yes. heartbreak. Wow. Yeah, Mama. crazy. Mama, please. That is just. Yeah, so like those next three days of me releasing my song, I was just like, rest in peace. But God damn, you couldn't right. wait a couple, you know what I'm saying? You couldn't wait a little, just a little high, you know. recording for about a year and I just was tired of not knowing how I would feel to perform you know and then you know actually wanting to take my rapping career seriously I just was like either I'm gonna do it or I'm not so I had a a few associates that I know put something together for me and it ended up being a paid show which was even better Cause if I'm yeah. spending all this money to prepare for the show, it would be nice to get something back, especially being independent, very, very new and not knowing basically much of anything, just going out on a, on a passion, you know, it all was like an amazing first, first beginning for me. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so that, I mean, that's kind of a good deal for you because um, with it being a passion and you starting it and then it kind of taking off, it kind of, would you say it fuels you to keep going like, oh, this was the reaction I got from the start? Right. And now, you know, is that kind of how it is? Yeah, definitely. When you get that, it's like this one certain feeling that you get. Like, even though it was my first performance, I was like super, super, super nervous. But just seeing how... The crowd reacted to something that I created, and they reacted so instant, instantaneously. And then you got a few supporters, and then it's just like, I don't know, it's almost like a drug. So it's not like I'm searching for that same feeling because every time I perform, it gets greater and better. And, and this experience is, you know, I don't know, it's unmatched. Yeah. Like I haven't, I haven't, like said, ooh, I want that one same feeling again. I don't ever search for that high again because the high is always greater. It's like a new drug every time. And it just grows. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Especially for me to do it in such short span and be so new to it. It's like I feel like it's super great because even though that traction was ended really quickly, I still get some, you know, goodness that comes from it like a lot of people remember it or sometimes i'll be i'll be out and people like where i know you from and i'm just like from porn <laughs> just lie just lie i'm a little ass yeah. yeah that is funny give them something to think about real quick right 
I was born in Cartersville, Georgia, and relocated okay. to Atlanta, Bankhead, West Lake and North Avenue at two years old. So I was basically raised here. Okay, yeah. so you are from Atlanta here. Okay, yeah. cool. And so, can't go, can't go wrong with that right now. Right. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk a little bit about, you know, you being, well, I guess I still want to know a little more. In 20... I guess 18, you would say you were recording and then you really started taking it serious, but it's a passion for you. So is this something that you think has always like been within you, like from a young age or did you, you know, like say, yeah, I'm just just too rapid. <laughs> well, the fascination came from like my peers growing up with my cousins and a lot of them do music. My sister always wanted to do music. And of course, I'm one of those children that grew up in a church, although we lived in Atlanta. We would go to Cartersville, Georgia every Sunday to go to church with my great grandmother. And a lot of, most of my cousins who do music are, they have like a nice, nice name on the West Side. So it's, it's cool. Gotcha. So it was something that you just are following the footsteps of your family, like. A little, I was, I was super intrigued by it and I was like, hey, I can do that. I like that. And I always yeah. wanted to know, you know, could I make like a hit song would it you know will people yeah. be able to sing some words that I create and it's amazing because it has happened they do, they do. <laughs> right right definitely yeah okay okay cool I just wanted to get a little more clarity of like your start to mm -hmm. slap contest that fill those kind of gaps in for me um okay so I know that female rappers are like rare I guess you could say unless you're like a female that looks like a man right. um, <laughs> you know so I want to kind of talk a little bit about if if you had any troubles or struggles trying to be you know break into the scene as a female rapper um the only issue that I have had or experienced being a female rapper is like trying to get my music spin with DJs. One, because they either trying to fuck me or mad because I don't want to fuck them. So that's basically the only, like, thing that I've experienced. And now that it's been, like, a year or two that I've been in the rap game, I've been seeing, like, a lot of females, like, come out from everywhere. So, like, now I'm in that era where I'm trying to, like, find my unique sound that's going to stand out. Yeah. Yeah. That differentiates you from the crowd. Right. Right. And I mean, I guess talk a little bit about that process. How does how is that kind of going for you? Like, what what are some things that you think you're doing differently, or trying to do differently? Well, what I know I need to do differently this year is be more, a little more consistent with it, like with my yeah. music and putting out projects and having like visuals out, just being out front. Or if yeah. because it is just me. Like, I'm an independent artist. I literally fund everything I do. Nothing that you see that's produced from Carmel Mia is not paid by Carmel Mia. And I'm not, like, rich. And my family don't come from money. So it's just like, you know, whatever is produced from me, you better believe it, it came from hard work. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's basically, I mean... That's basically it. Because nine times out of ten, the females that are out now have that background or that history or, you know, yeah. that jeopardy that, you know, people know who they are. They've either come from groups or, you know, they've been doing their Instagram thing for years and here I come new. So it's just like, you know, coming, coming into it, I see what I have to do and learning where I need to, like, pinpoint everything that I need to do because every yeah. like a lot of the females that are out right now they're really working they're working hard even if yeah. some of them are trash you know they got people behind them that are pushing <laughs> that garbage right. right producing trash but they work right <laughs> they work in that garbage you know? that's funny I guess you should be a comedian yeah. but the music thing don't work <laughs> yeah okay so let's talk 
a little bit about your name, Karma Mia, and then we were talking a little bit about the eight, mm-hmm. um, and how that kind of came about for you. It's sticking. Mm-hmm. I just, I kind of like being difficult, and I love the mm-hmm. infinity sign. That's where the eight came from. Because like, instead of an eight, just put an eight right there. Because I'm pretty yeah. sure I'm going to be, like, in the music game for a while. I'm pretty sure I want to have longevity in it. So I just wanted to put a little stamp on it, you know. Yeah. That's now, is, is that your real name, or is that your stage name, Karma Mia? That's my stage name. Mia is my nickname that was given to me by my eldest sister. Oh, okay. They changed her name, and she gave me a nickname. So I just added it to my repertoire. Yeah, other than that, definitely. Okay, cool. Um, so let's talk about some uh, projects that you have out. Um, that you want to talk about, or that uh, you have currently out or coming out, or anything. right. Um, <laughs> well, right now I have Pop Off, which is my main banger. All, it's all on, on all platforms and that's where you can actually see the slap contest in my very first performance and then I have hold on one second. Ah! this call will get there Buddy, shut up. Come here. So what you want to wait three seconds and then we'll get back to it. My eye is watering like crazy. Shut up, buddy. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> That's my dog, girl. He's a mess. Go to bed. Okay. Go to bed. <laughs> Go to bed. Okay, what? Three seconds and then we jump back in. Yeah, and then um Start from when you said, I'll just re ask the question. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Take a seat. And you shall see about. <laughs> okay, so yeah, just talk a little bit about some projects or um, that you have out or that you're working on that you want to share. Okay, so my main project is Pop Off, and that is the video and performance of my first, very first paid performance. And then there you can see the slap contest. You can see me perform for the very first time at Rio, and that's such a fucking banger. Like, you listen to it, and your kids don't sing it. They don't need to cuss, but they probably don't cuss anyway because it's so catchy. And then I got another project that I released um, last summer that's called Transsetter with the bandits coco the bandit that's another banger you know it's real motivational for the ladies that's trying to get their shit together or got it together or you know just trying to be consistent it's a good a a good motivating song and then i got a project that i'm working on i want to tell you but i don't know i don't know you're my friend i might need to tell you so i'm working on a project with corny cash and that okay. might be out this summer, so you might have to have me back on. I don't know. Yes, for sure. You can't, will be back on. <laughs> can't tell you the name or the concept, but it's freaking dope. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like teasers. We can we can live with that. Exclusive Adult. only for you though. Only for you. Cause I appreciate you. <laughs> Thanks, friend. <laughs> right. Right. Definitely. All my things are bangers. I'm not putting out anything that's not in it. So yep. if I don't have nothing out, then it's not nothing you're going to replay. Exactly. And being independent, and like you said, everything coming from your bank account personally, right. it kind of fuels you to be like, yeah, I'm not going to put out nothing bad. I'm not going to put out nothing sloppy or half. I'm not about to have to do nothing because this is my money. This is my name. So. Exactly. Right. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> so they know me already. Okay. And let's talk a little bit about comedy. Are you just naturally funny, or is that something you want to start taking seriously, like doing shows and stuff like that? 
I know I'm naturally funny because everybody tells me that. But I used to do skits and like my little, before reels came out on Instagram, I used to have like my little reels where I would have conversations with yeah. my bitches, whether it be yeah. male or female. And like, I need to get back into that because that's what, another reason would keep my followers. So yeah. it's like, I'm trying to figure out what my niche would be or will be with the comedy. But as yeah. as you can see, meeting me, I'm just like hella fun. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Always. <laughs> Always a good time. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Um, oh, I did want to talk a little bit about COVID and how Atlanta is open. It's full. Oh, okay. Very different than the world. Right. <laughs> right. And it's so open. So kind of talk to me a little bit about how that's helped you. Um more than others because you know most people are still shut down right they don't care about it so only thing it's helped me do is get some free money and that's it and it's not a lot of money but it's free money so i'm gonna get it okay. and that's about it and i wear my mask everywhere yeah i'm outside so, but i'm inside but i wear my mask <laughs> I'm, I'm outside but i'm not there but i'm right. there but not really right and exactly. i spend a lot of time outside of atlanta because of covid and there's so many people oh. getting it here and it's like it's getting closer and closer and closer and closer to me. So mm -hmm. I spend a lot of time going places that's not open. Yeah. And then I'll come <laughs> back. Right. I'll come back if, if I need to do work or do an appearance or one of my uh, yeah. peers need me for an event. But other than that, I'm either at home or somewhere where it's not open. Yeah. yeah. And I feel you on that one. Going out okay. here is like summer... 15. Nobody has on a mask. And you walking yep. in an establishment with a mask and they like, what the fuck? For sure. You are, you're the odd person when you are wearing a mask right. inside. Right. Like, and right. I'm like, well, should I take it off? No. Right. <laughs> and most of those people care for elderly or children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, and that was another thing too. I had uh, somebody I had went out with and they were like, oh, well, I, I baby, I work at a daycare, and I'm like, well, why are you going out? Right. <laughs> like, stay home. But you so, outside, right? Big outside. <laughs> and you about to keep somebody kids, girl? Bye. Yeah, it was. It's been pretty wild. So, um, so you have been able to do a few shows and stuff, or what's it kind of looking like? Um, right now, just pop ins and outs, like okay. anything that um requires more than an hour of my time. You probably yeah. won't catch me there, or I will make it an hour of my time. Yeah. Unless I'm drunk, and then I'm outside. Mm. Right. March right. Madness, that's my shit. <laughs> that's what they need to do is stay out. Right. Get you lit, and then you'll wind up staying. Right. <laughs> okay. Um. So, yeah, let's talk about where people can follow you and become a fan if they haven't already find your music, where to stream it, all of that. Literally every single thing, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Deezer, Spotify, Apple, iTunes, every title, wherever, is Carmel Mia, K-A-R-M-E-L-M-E-Y, the number eight. That's everything. <laughs> like, I'm so simple Yeah. that it's ridiculous. Like, people trying to talk to you in the club over the music. What's your Instagram? Karma Mia. What's your Twitter? Karma Mia. What's your YouTube? Get over. Karma Mia. Free reads. It's a say. Not right. a say. Okay. Karma Mia. You heard it here first. Is there anything else that you uh, want to add or think I didn't get to or want to cover? Um, Wear condoms and mask. And go Please. get tested for COVID. I was about to say something else. That's it. <laughs> Just do what you gotta do. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in this week for What's Your Story? That's all we have with Karma Mia. Bringing it all the way from where I am in Atlanta. Staying sick, staying distant. Thank what you, you so much. Baby. I appreciate you. Wear your mask. And we're out. Yay. Now I'm gonna be day great. drunk. I'm about to kill my dog. You about to what? Kill my dog. Why? He's a butthole. 
But he's so scary. He do all that and he's so scary. Shut up. It was Shut good up. during the interview. He didn't even bark. My friend came over. Girl, they probably need to pay to play with each other. Before I feed you to both of my dogs. And he ain't gonna bust a grape. He ain't gonna bust a grape. He ain't gonna do nothing. He'll be right on Like a little hamster. Oh, definitely. I'm gonna DM you over um, Baby Chris so you can interview him. He's Atlanta. He has yeah. things out. Um, his Instagram is underscore b a b y c h r i s 2k 2k okay yeah. and then um the bandit coco t h e b a e n d i t c o c o and those are two people i recommend you get on the show just shoot them a dm i'm pretty sure they don't have no issue with it and then okay you know, they yes. they good at responding too and then um if you don't get uh, answer back from in 24 hours I'll just text him okay I will yeah. let you know um, for sure because thank you ma'am <laughs> <laughs> always be me so yeah if you out and you see more people and you like oh you like what they doing and I like what they doing send them my way definitely because I'm trying to you know build it up out yeah here. <laughs> I love it I've been watching I was just waiting on my invite you know you know, you I, know. Had to, I had to spice it up to save you yeah. I couldn't, oh. I couldn't intertwine you with the rest of them, right? We had to stand out. <laughs> Please don't let me cry, bitch. 2021. Don't do all that. Don't do all that. <laughs> I was like, where did this bitch go have me? Oh, friend, what the fuck going on? Right. Friend, what is you doing? Right. You playing? Bitch got a whole damn show. I ain't had me on that one time. I was like, what the fuck? Let me double tap this shit and keep scrolling. I ain't listening to this shit till I get a DM. <laughs> no, I was super excited though. I'm happy. I'm happy about it. And you're my first okay. interview for 2021. Perfect Yay. timing. And I got up for you because bitch, I'm lazy. I do not get up. You know, I was like, and I normally message people like in the middle of the week, so mm -hmm. I give them a few days to respond. And I was like, damn, it's Friday. I ain't even messaged nobody yet. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do Atlanta this week. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, she was first on the list. And I was like, all right, hopefully she responds. And when you did on Saturday, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was Because you was special, bitch. You special. You made me wait, and that's okay. <laughs> right, right. But I. I appreciate you, so. Yeah, definitely hit those artists up because they, they got real good traction. They got hits right. on the radio. Coco got something. Um, hers is Black Black Lives Matter. She been on 107.9. Baby Chris, he got a project with Kevin Gates that was out last year that was real big. Like, oh, they, wow. they some, you know, major. Also from the west side of Atlanta. So yeah. those need to be like your next Atlantans. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, I definitely will hit them up. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I will message you. I'll send you the link because it'll be out today. Because mm -hmm. you know it's Sunday. You was so. one editing motherfucker because, baby girl, it take me days. Yeah, and nah, I'll be on it. Yes, you working, girl. You working. I used, I used to have a vote where I would just do, like, a bunch of people, and then I would just put them out, like, sporadically, but... um. I don't know. I like to challenge myself to get it done in the same day. So. That's what's up. I yeah, love that. So. I need to be like you. Yeah, I'm trying to be like you. Bitch. Girl, that's dedication, <laughs> honey. That is yeah. real dedication. So yes. I will. Um, I'll send it to you for the end of the night for sure. Okay. Share it on up. Yes, okay. ma'am. Anything, and then if I need to put something as a caption, just go on and type type me something real cute in the DM. Okay. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna See, thank you, girl. Cause this is a no, good opportunity, girl. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna get some more fucking followers. But the thing, um, I think I think you're on the double eight page, which is cool. That's the one I need to build my followers. But the original page is one eight. That's where you catch all the the hoopla. Okay. Um, I'm trying to be oh, okay. more conservative on the double eight page. That's the new one. Yeah, that's what you're going to see okay, everybody so made up. you have two pages. One, eight. Okay. Yeah, and then yeah. the one that we're on. Yeah, that's more more serious page. 
Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I mean, I had been following you, and I think you post a little music stuff on there. Mm-hmm. But I was like, you know, it, it was still enough because yeah. I had met you and stuff. So I was like, yeah, let's mm-hmm. do it. Everything <laughs> on there has to be like a 10, nothing less. Yeah. Yeah, and then the other page, I don't give a damn. That's that's the one where you're going to see everything. The real me, the ugly me, the fat right. me, everybody. I don't give a fuck me. This Period. Is not Period. Business. It's unprofessional. <laughs> fuck that shit. Period. With a D and a T. Girl, I can't get these nails off. Okay, bye. I'm finna get day drunk and then go to sleep. Oh, day drunk and go to sleep. I hear you. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you again. Bye. Bye. Now wait, bitch. Bitch, who lives here? Who moved down here? Bitch, everybody, you getting your nails done today? I will see. Mm. My first dress. Okay, you bitch, I got a doorway phone and I need a phone call made nine motherfucking one one. You lie. Hmm. Oh lord, this bitch. Let me drink one. Mm.